Ender Porters are great. By keeping a thrown Ender Pearl in stasis, they allow you to teleport anywhere in the world almost instantly. But to me, using an Ender Porter is kinda clunky. And let's face it, they are definitely lacking in style. So I've decided to literally turn the concept on its head and build an Ender Porter that can do this. While the traditional design uses a trap door to activate the Ender Pearl, my design drops the Ender Pearl from above onto a landing pad. It takes a little bit longer to do this, but it makes it so you can put the Ender Porter in the middle of a room without having a redstone contraption in the way. And instead of crouching over the edge to reload it, all you have to do is fire an Ender Pearl straight up and it's good to go. Alright, so let's get to building this thing. The contraption is only 6 blocks tall by 4 blocks wide and 3 blocks deep, but you'll need an extra 6 blocks or 6.5 below it in order to make enough space for a landing pad. And at the top here, you also need an extra 6 blocks of clearance so that the Ender Pearl has enough room to go up and come back down into it. Let's go ahead and start our Ender Pearl detection system. That's going to be a piece of string followed by an observer going into a sticky piston, yet another observer and a block here and here. Go ahead and place a piece of redstone dust right here as well as a redstone lamp on top of that. You'll need another observer, another block, and a, another sticky piston facing inward right here. Go ahead and place two dispensers on top of each other and you'll need two buckets inside of each one of those and then we'll start placing our blocks for the frame. I'm going to be using white concrete so you can actually see it because over here we're using white uh, glass and that's a little bit hard to see against its background. So go ahead and place that around like this all the way up to the very top and then go ahead and skip a block right here for our soul sand. I'm also going to get rid of a block here so we can place a sign right above that observer. Go ahead and cover that hole up and then we'll come around to the front here and place some soul sand which is going to go right in there. Then come around to the top and place two bits of water here and here and that is all there is to it. I'm just going to go ahead and put a block there as well as a button on it and that will be the trigger for the whole system. And then I'm going to grab a snowball so we can go ahead and test the whole thing out. So come down to the bottom here and fire a snowball into that string and you should see the whole thing open up like that. Then go ahead and fire another snowball and you should see it close up, come around to the top and you should see that thing floating on top. And now when you press this button, the snowball should fall all the way through and land on the landing pad below. Since snowballs pretty much behave the same way as an ender pearl, you can use them instead of them in order to test out the contraption. Then when you're ready to be loaded up with one, you go ahead and put an ender pearl in the system and then wait for the thing to settle down so you can hit it with a redstone signal and test it out. And there you go, you successfully built my ender porter. So thanks for watching folks, I've got other wrestling contraptions and tutorials if you are interested, as well as an ongoing survival series. But anyway, that's about it for me, I will see you in the next one.